Hey, is Google scraping eating up your time? In this video, I'll walk you through how to scrape Google search results directly into Airtable using make.com and the data for SEO API. This method is so simple, you'll wonder why you haven't been using it all along. It provides a foundation that you can modify to suit your unique workflow. This setup allows you to analyze keyword positions, competition, and other key metrics, all without manual data entry. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. First, head over to the make.com template library. In the search bar, type data for SEO to find the available templates. For this tutorial, select the template Get Google SERP Position for New Airtable Records. Click Create a Scenario from this template, and let's start customizing. Before we continue, if you're new to make.com, you can get two months of the pro plan for free. Just click the link in the video description to claim this offer. The scenario consists of three connected modules. One, Airtable Watch Records, Monitors for New Records. Two, Data for SEO Get Parse SERP fetches search engine results data. Three, Airtable update a record. Updates the records with new data. Here's how it will look Airtable. Per each keyword, you'll see a location, a language, a target domain, and a position in SERP. Now, let's configure the first Airtable module. Watch records, just follow the steps on the screen. Now, let's choose a position tracking table. Select Modified in the Trigger field and click OK. Then choose From Now On in the new window. Now, let's configure the Data for SEO module to get parsed SERP. This is where the template will fetch search engine results data based on the keywords you set in Airtable. Select Run this module only. In the Update a Record module, we'll connect the specific columns in Airtable to match the data fetched by Data for SEO. Let me show you how to map these fields. The Data for SEO module shows our test configurations results. You can see the input parameters, keyword, SEO, API, targeting dataforseo.com in English for the United States market. Now. Let's configure our third module, the Airtable Update a Record. Choose Data for SEO as your base and Position Tracking as your table. Fill in all the fields correspondingly. Make sure Smart Links is set to No since we don't need that functionality for this setup. Open Airtable to check the results. You should see the position column updated with the ranking of your track keyword for the specified website. This update will include the current position and the last modified timestamp for easy tracking. This is the initial automation setup. Now, let me show you how we can capture even more data from the API response and Airtable. As you can see, Data for SEO provides additional metrics that we might want to track. I've created a new table in Airtable called Position Tracking Copy with some extra fields. These will store additional data points from our API response like page titles and descriptions. Back in make.com, let's modify our scenario to use this new table. Now I'm copying the records from our original position tracking table. That includes the keyword, location, and language. Then I'm pasting this into our new table. It gives us space for additional metrics. Now we have more detailed SERP information for better analysis. Let's run our setup and see the results in our enhanced table. After clicking Run Once and Make.com, you'll notice the additional data populated from the Data for SEO API. The check URL showing the actual Google Search Query URL total results count, the target URL, etc., title, description, etc. Remember, this template is just a starting point. You can customize it to track whatever. That's it. You've just created a customizable SERP tracking automation that updates an Airtable automatically. If this was helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Got questions? Drop them in the comments.